God's compassion smiles and my aspiration cries sing and play play and sing life after life spirituality means inspiration spirituality means aspiration we in inspiration we can see now here you are inspiring me i am inspiring you while you are asking me questions i definitely feel that you are <coughs> inspiring me in the same way i feel that i am inspiring you as well but aspiration is something deep within that aspiration we cannot outwardly show we can show only when you have reached a certain height a sublime height then one can while aspiring others will be able to see and feel in his face all around him so in that way in inspiration and aspiration are of paramount importance in a seeker spiritual life i always feel that i am not <coughs> excuse me, the doer the doer is somebody else i try to be a devoted instrument of his the doer is my inner pilot i entirely depend upon his grace this 100% grace i need and i receive from my inner pilot i am a seeker and i used to remain an eternal seeker i am a lover of god and i i have made my unconditional love to execute god's will i am a lover of god and i want to become an i i am an unconditional lover of god i want at every moment god's victory to be established throughout the length and breadth of the world so when i draw something is there it is i do not know what i am going i follow a streak of light as soon as i start painting or drawing i see something is guiding my hand guiding my fingers so that is why it was possible for me to paint thousands of it my prayer light from here inside i feel somebody is guiding my i call my inner pilot a few years ago a television crew came and they uh, they saw me my house how fast i was running and i i as here also i don't have any training is amateur whatever comes from within i i do it i'm i'm a student of the inner school inner school <laughs> there i get to learn inspiration not information in the outer school we get uh, um, most of the time we get information but in the inner school we get inspiration and aspiration there we don't use the mind in the country we unlearn in the outer school we learn so many things so many things we learn in outer school it feeds our mind and then quite often we misuse the uh, things that we learn from the from with our mind or inside the mind things that we learn but when we learn in in our inner school everything is positive it is not destructive it is every spirituality is not the sole monopoly of any individual 
we are all God's children. Only it is up to us whether we want to become good citizens of the world, whether we want to destroy the world, or we want to love the world, build the world, and make a, a, and transform the world. Through my music, I try to offer my a feeling of oneness, inseparable oneness. We are all one, we belong to one family, and music is a universal language. I do not have to learn any foreign language, only one language is enough, that is music, heart to heart. Music is our heart to heart conversation. So th through music, I try to mm, establish my oneness with you and your oneness with me as well. When we pray and meditate, we enter into vastness, especially when you meditate, we feel we have entered into the vastness of an ocean. So inside this ocean, the drops are like individual human beings, collective beings. The ocean embodies countless drops. So here the drop is an individual human being. Inside the universal heart, we see countless human beings. And it is through music. Music has a free access to the universal heart that it transcends uh, time and climate. Meditation is a very, very simple subject, if you call it a subject. We try to silence our mind. Here, at every moment, we are at the mercy of thought. Sometimes it is good thought. Uh, most of the time, thoughts are uncomely, uninspiring. But when you meditate, we silence our mind. And once we s can silence our mind, we feel, we, we inside, inside our mind, soulful thoughts, inspiring thoughts, illumining thoughts, and fulfilling thoughts. So meditation is the only way to silence our mind and the divine qualities that are inside the mind, we can bring to the fore by virtue of proper meditation. If he does not have a teacher, he can read some spiritual books. These books will help him immensely. And if he is fortunate to have a spiritual master to be a source of inspiration or a, a guidance, then he is fortunate. I strongly feel that the world is progressing. In the, the world has a sincere hunger for peace. Sometimes we unfortunately enter into where we wage war and so forth, but in the very depths of our hearts, we are all longing for peace, a oneness home. So the future is quite bright, and I am an optimist. I always see the bright side of human life, because um, our source is God, and he is all light uh, and all delight. So eventually we are um, going to our source and it is through a life of peace, a oneness heart that we can uh, reach our source, which is infinite delight.